Well, what do you say, Chief? This good as new model is yours for all the bracelets, beads, and lava lavas you make for the next three months. I know if this not break down. Oh, you're kidding. It's got hardly any miles on it. Right, Tink? Oh, sure. It was just driven by a little old lady wave to the bomb shelter and back. You'd be the only witch doctor in the islands with his own Jeep. Think of all the house calls you could make. <laughs> Wonder driven few miles, no motor. Well, of course there's no motor. This way you never run out of gas. You think you're dealing with schnook? Let's make it go. Simple. Step out of the way, Chief. This thing is a speedy vehicle. Spears, men. Saddle up. Right in there. Tight. Push! <laughs> All right, men, give it the foot brake. There you are. No engine ping, no oily sludge, no sticky valves, real economy performance. Hey, look at these extras, including air conditioning. I tell you, a ruler, it's a steal. No care how you get it. Okay, we got deal. You got? I got. Him get bracelets, beads, Urulu get cheap with all extras. All right, all right, what's going on here? Hello, Rulu. What's going on, Gruber? What are you, starting a used car lot or something? <laughs> no, no, just, just make a little deal, Skipper. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? I can just see it now. Honest Lester, the laughing Lithuanian, huh? Yeah, look, this Jeep is government property. You can't sell it. That's against regulations. Yeah. Article 17, paragraph 4. Or is it section 4? It, it's either article or section 4. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right, Chuck. Now, look, Gruber, I don't mind little honest petty larceny. But I think you're getting in way over your head. This is all Captain Binghamton's waiting for. Skipper, it's just an old broken-down piece of junk. What? And that, that runs like a charm. Better run. We make deal, McHale. This mine. One, one, one. He's right, Skip. Honest Lester. I can't go back on my word. Yeah, yeah. All right, tow it out of here. But if Binghamton uh, knew about this, I, I could just hear what he'd say. He'd say you're all under arrest. Yeah, you're all under arrest. <laughs> no, no. Yes, yes, here you are. Stealing and selling Navy property, Carpenter. Sir. I do believe I've died and gone to that last big court-martial in the sky. <laughs> Man, you're confined to your quarters under arrest. Mikhail Parker, you come with me. Unhand me, I'm a war veteran. <laughs> oh, come on, Captain, I can explain this. So all we're trying to do is promote goodwill with the natives. Uh, just keep them happy, that's all. Well, that's right, sir. You know the old saying, a happy native is a tight native. Oh, uh, no, wait, that's a ship, tight ship. <laughs> Oh, right. knock it off, a happy native, a tight native. All right, Halloween face, get out of that jeep. Get back up in those hills where you belong. And don't you try putting one of those stupid voodoo curses on me. I make deal, jeep mine. Get your grubby hands off of that Navy property. This now Orulu property, I make deal. <laughs> You know what you can do with your deal, you thatch head. <laughs> you don't scare me. Not for a minute, you don't scare me. Not for a minute, you don't. Now get moving. If I catch you around here again, I'm going to throw you in the brig. And I'm going to paint a PW on your big fat veranda. Can do, McHale? Can do. You bet your pierced ears I can. Now get moving. <laughs> You go with them. All right, Mikhail, you come to the boat with me. You two, seamen third class, Parker. Uh, oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm an ensign. You see, these gold bars mean that I've been to officer school, and, well, when you go to, uh... <clears throat> can I keep my class ring? Oh, tiptoe to the window, by the window. Oh, all right. 
Sorry. Would you type up those court martial charges <laughs> so the prisoners could read them and sign them? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Elroy, I sent an official notice to Chief Yurulu. Tell him if he ever shows his stomach around here again, I'll use it as a toe target for gunnery practice. Sir? <laughs> 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 oh, anything I can get you, Mikhail? Cigarette, blindfold? We are all hot. <laughs> oh, if you don't mind, sir, you can get me a lawyer. A lawyer? Boo! <laughs> You know a lawyer named Boo? <laughs> Captain Binghamton here. Binghamton, this is Admiral Reynolds. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Admiral Reynolds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good yes, morning. I want you to listen very carefully. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, what a stupid, ridiculous thing. What's that? Uh, oh, I, I was talking to my foot, sir. I, mean, I was talking to my uh, orderly here. Uh, pay attention, this is urgent. That airstrip you have on Teratoop, is it in good condition? Uh, perfect, sir. Perfect. I want it lengthened to accommodate a squadron of B-17s. They'll land at 0600 on the 24th. See that it's ready. Uh, well, that doesn't give me much time, Admiral. My, my construction crew is on over in front of Footy there on a the, on the TD over there. So what? You've got hundreds of natives down there. Use them for labor if you have to. And uh, speak to that uh, chief, what's his name? Oh, uh, that's uh, Arulu. Well, you're on good terms with him, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir. We're very close. Well, then get that airstrip ready. And I don't have to remind you of the consequences. Thank you, sir. Yes, goodbye. Here are the court martial papers, sir. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Dream of my life. Mikhail behind bars. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so gay. It's a cruel world. But I don't understand, sir. Oh, it's orders from the Admiral. I need the help of that slob, Arulu. And I can't get his help without the help of that slob, Mikhail. <laughs> Somebody up there hates me. I just don't I have to put up with these things. Sir, what's your... Get Hello, boys. I, uh, I didn't know you were still out here. I'm sorry. I wouldn't want to keep you waiting like that or anything. Now, what was that you wanted to see me about again? <laughs> oh, really nothing, sir. Just a um, small matter of uh, court-martial, life imprisonment. <laughs> All that. Yeah. Well, I want you to know, I'm just a big enough man to, to forget all about that. After all, if you're going to be a leader of men, you got to be fair and just, you know. I didn't get to be a captain for nothing. Oh, that's right, sir. <clears throat> uh, just what was the reason? It's <laughs> cute, Parker. Cute. Point is, I'm willing to overlook the whole thing. I think we should work closer together instead of far apart. After all, there's a war on. You mean, besides the one between you and me? Love your humor. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> How about it? We're going to work together? Well, if you say so, sir. Now, if we're free to go... Oh, yes, by all means, you're free to go, boys. It's just one, uh, one little thing. Aha, uh -huh, duck, Parker. Here comes the boom. <laughs> No, 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 Mikhail, this request is not for me. This is for the war effort. You see, I've got to extend my airstrip to accommodate B-17s. I've got just three days to do it, and I'm shorthanded. Oh, well, that don't give you much time. But you can count on me and my crew to pitch in. Mikhail, if I had all of the crews, I'd still be shorthanded. I'm afraid I need Chief Arulu and his natives to help me. Ha-ha, so that's it, Arulu. Hey, look, if I know this guy, he's probably making Captain Binghamton voodoo dolls and sticking pins in them. Yeah, all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. <laughs> well, I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll, I'll tell you one thing, though. You're going to have to give him back that Jeep. Oh, give him the Jeep. Oh, my goodness, just give him the Jeep. Give him anything. Give him anything he wants. The important thing is we've got to get those natives to work. Now, you can, you can do it, Quentin. So can you, Chuck. So you get out there and get going. You can count on us, Wally. <laughs> Two. Hi there, Chief. What are you doing here, Mikhail? Well, I came to bring you your Jeep. And to tell you that the big boss apologizes. Yeah, he wants to be your friend. Have him for friend, no need enemies. <laughs> oh, come on. 
Ah, you got Captain Bing up to no wrong way. He's a great guy, isn't he, fellas? <laughs> I said he's a great guy, isn't he, fellas? Oh, sure, peach of a guy. Hey, his ace is with me, sir. <laughs> Call me Chuck. Rulu still thinks something rotten in Denmark. Whatever that is. Oh, well, that's in the Baltic Sea, Chief. Boy, they raise great cheese there. Now, now, wait a minute. Look, Rulu, you trust me, don't you? Well, when I say he wants to be your friend, he wants to be... He wants your people to work for him. Oh, no work for him. No work for him. Bad medicine. Well, now, wait a minute, Chief. This isn't like working just for the big boss. This is for something that's bigger than all of us. That's right. This is for the war effort. This is for democracy. Yeah. Oh. What democracy? <laughs> well, it, it's all in your history books. Right. Well, it started with the pilgrims, you see, at Plymouth Rock. Now, they started raising these turkeys. Him some kind of nut? <laughs> what he means is that uh, well, democracy is a way of life, you know? It, well, it's like when the Japanese come. You and your people are prisoners. But when the Americans come, you do whatever you like. <laughs> Have freedom. Isn't that right, fellas? Oh, yeah, do whatever you like. <laughs> Sing, dance, pull jeeps. <laughs> democracy means free enterprise. Well, what free enterprise? <laughs> well, uh, that's the right to work and earn as much money as you want. Fondle, fondle. Make uh, much money? Oh, that's right, much money. Hmm, free enterprise, not bad. <laughs> what, what do you say, Chief? Uh, hey, will you work for the big boss? Rulu, think it over. He come here, we talk. I'll go get him right away, huh? Come on, boys, uh, Parker. Excuse us, Chief. <laughs> um, oh, that was a great idea, the pitching that democracy, boy. I want you to stay here and keep it up. I don't want a ruler to cool off. You understand? Right, Skip. He'll be as American as hot dogs by the time good, you get back. Good, good. Oh, uh, could you make that hamburgs, uh, hot dogs? Give me a heartburn. <laughs> Oh. Must have been out of my mind letting you talk me into this. No! Oh, hey. oh, almost hit me with this thing. Oh, hi, oh, Rulu. Uh, your friend, Captain Binghamton, came over to pay a friendly visit, didn't you, sir? Yeah, a uh, friendly visit. Uh, yeah, so you couldn't uh, help that, could you? Uh, just a friend. How are you, friend? I'm sorry, sir. I guess we should have put in a crosswalk for that. <laughs> crosswalk? You pea brain. I ought to... Not yell at Parker. He my friend. He's all about democracy. America. I like. I tell my people. And a boy, Chuck. Uh, uh, Chief, uh, you and I haven't got anything much to say to each other. It's just that I can use all your natives. I'll use them at the standard native rate for labor, 50 cents an hour. Now get out of the Jeep, get them together, and let's go. <laughs> We're not through. Uh, fondue, fondue. Uh, 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 well, well uh, what do you mean there, uh, Rulu? Uh, this for democracy, right? Right. Him management, me labor. We bargain good union contract. Union contract? You really filled him in, huh? Well, I told you you could count on me, Skip. What are you talking about? Is this some sort of a joke? What, 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 what? No, no, no. Let's not lose him now, Captain, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you finger-painted John L. Lewis. What do you want? First, fringe benefits. <laughs> fringe benefits? Every hour, ten-minute coconut break. You supply coconut. <laughs> oh, I don't believe this. I can't... All right, a coconut break. All right, now get your people together. And uh, get... next, group insurance. <laughs> And sure, what did you tell him about? Oh, well, 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 now, now, Captain, there's nothing wrong with group insurance, sir. There isn't. No. All right. What about group insurance? Man hurt on job, you pay. You go to which doctor of choice? <laughs> now I know. I'm at the Mad Hatter's tea party. Where's Alice? Uh, Alice, I haven't seen her all day, sir. Uh, any of you men seen oh, Alice? Oh, shut up! Where's any of you men seen Alice? All right, you've got your fringe benefits, the group insurance. What else? No 50 cents hour. Minimum wage democracy, one dollar. I can tell you what you can do with your union contract, oh, no, no, fat no, no, boy. No, no, you no, can... no, no, no. Captain, Captain, uh, uh, that landing strip isn't finished yet, sir. You have no choice. All right, one dollar. That's the deal. Now, I'll send the boat over for your people. We'll get over to the island. People no work till five o'clock. <laughs> The people work now, and that's an order. Five o'clock. Why not till five o'clock? 
Get time and a half for overtime. <laughs> So far, so good, Arulu. Even better soon. Big boss pay workers, workers pay union dues, and me own union. <laughs> yeah, you're a kitty, all right. Wish I know about democracy sooner. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. Well, how's it going, Mikhail? Oh. I just talked to the Admiral on the phone. I assured him that we're on the ball down here. Uh, no problem, sir. The landing strip will be ready. <laughs> oh, good, good. You know, this, uh, this could be quite a feather in my cap. Uh -huh. Might even mean a commendation. Uh -huh. Keep on top of them. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hi. Hi, <laughs> <Hey, where are laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm yeah, sorry. That's got you a fat nutshell. <laughs> Okay, work stop. What does he mean, a work stop? What, 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 what is that? Well, I don't know, Captain. Well, what do you mean, work stop? Ten minute coconut breaks, same union contract, right? Hey, coconut breaks ten minutes? You supply coconuts. Where coconuts? I'll give you coconuts. Good, you give me coconuts, I sell to workers, make nice profit, eh? Yeah? Oh, no, 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 wait a minute, Rulu. Enough is enough. You're being unreasonable. Yeah. The men have stopped working. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they were just lying down so they could blow the dirt away. Oh, no, sir. Well, that'd take a year, at least six months. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Look, uh, Rulu, come on, get the men back to work, will you? All right now. You no supply coconuts? No. Urulu exercise democratic right. Everybody wait in boat to Rulu co strike. <laughs> Oh, I'm not well. The pains are coming back, I know. Mandu Walu. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Shame, Hey, you're breaking your contract. Yeah, you're breaking your contract. Yeah, you almost broke my leg. I do what I like. Have freedom. This democracy pocket tell me. <laughs> Okay, all secure? All secure. Yes, yes. Oh, it's no use. Skip, without those natives, we'll never finish that airstrip in time. Did you talk that chief into making his men come back to work? Ah, uh, but how? A ruler's rough. Yeah, what a con, man. Yeah, it's a regular Polynesian Gruber. Wait a minute, I resent that. Are you kidding? He makes Gruber look like a choir boy. I resent that, too. All right, all right, knock it off. When I had to go and teach him about democracy. What's wrong with that, Urulu? Why he not fight for democracy? Like me? Because <laughs> uh, he just doesn't understand. He thinks democracy is just fringe benefits and coconut breaks. What well, well, people keep him out of all of it? All right, all right, wait a minute, hold it. Now look, because of us, Urulu made his village into a democracy, right? That's right. right. Well, now there is a way to get rid of him. How? Huh? We vote him out. Huh? How about that? We vote him out. <laughs> Gee, McGill. You come give me coconut, yeah? Oh, no, big boss says no deal, Urulu. Then wasting time, Urulu, no change mind. Oh, now, wait a minute, Urulu. We think you did the right thing. I mean, after all, this is a democracy. And as George Washington once said, give me liberty or give me death. <laughs> or was that Martha Washington? <laughs> Now, wait, wait, wait a minute. Look, well, we're not here to argue with you. We're here to help you uh, have an even better democracy. You mean so I make more money, eh? Huh? Oh, good, good, good. You tell Urulu, I do. Well, uh, first then, uh, how about the election? What need election for? Uh, well, so the people can vote. Uh, uh, make you big boss. Make you president. Me big boss now can lick any man in village. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know something, Chuck? Uh -huh. It looks like a ruler's afraid to have an election. Yeah, well, uh, if he's afraid of his own people, I guess. A ruler not afraid of anything. All right, then how about it? You have an election, you'll have a real democracy. Who are the fellow they vote for? Well, we we'll find somebody. Uh, uh, for instance, there's. Uh, 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 how about Maloko? Maloko? Sure. Maloko? <laughs> Maloko? Oh, you, you something funny. For him, nothing. Him, little pipsqueak. <laughs> what do you say, Chief? Okay, everybody vote in morning. I tell people, you have nice election. I go fishing. Maloko. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye, Chief. Bye. I say vote for Malone!
go! Friends, I'd like to tell you why you should cast your vote for Maloko. You've had enough of one man telling you what to do. A vote for Maloko is a vote for democracy. So come on, a vote for Maloko. Let's hear it. <laughs> Maloko. Arulu. Maloko. 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 Orulu! Mc... McHale? <laughs> yeah, I don't count that one. That writing still counts, isn't it? <laughs> That's it, Skipper. Oh, good. Uh, uh, what's the count, Chuck? Yeah, what is it? Why, 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 why? Well, uh, wait a minute. Let's see now. Uh, nine and three are twelve, uh, minus one for McHale. <laughs> and uh, three and two. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> This election stuff very funny. Typical new Maloko too. Oh, that good one better. Than that. <laughs> How you doing, Mikhail? You finished with game yet? Uh, well, Mr. Parker's just counting up the votes now. <laughs> you wasting time. Everybody love Urulu. Yeah, well, I wouldn't count too much on that, uh, Chief. Well, hell, that does it, Skip. Oh, so that's the vote. Yes, how much I win by? Well, Urulu. 37 votes. Hey! <laughs> For Maloko, 216 votes. Yeah! <laughs> McHale, what you do here? You cheat me. I've been robbed. No, 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 no. Wait a minute now. That's democracy. The, the, the choice of the people. <laughs> uh, uh, Maloko, what do you think you do? President Maloko. <laughs> Yeah. Well, how you heard him blubber belly? You're out, O U T out, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, well, I beg your pardon, sir, but there is something you can do about it. You see, this is a democracy. Now, you could demand a recount, take a literacy test of all these voters. You're saying, Mr. Parker? Yeah, you're out, blubber belly. O U T out. O U T. Wonderful. Wonderful. There should be no problems with that airship now. Oh, as much as I hate to admit it, you saved my neck with the Admiral, Mikhail. Yeah, well, nothing personal, sir. Just for the war effort. <laughs> I ought to be able to get those natives for about 25 cents an hour now, huh? For the schnook like that Maloko in charge. <laughs> uh, sir? All right, bye, bye. President Maloko is here to see you. Oh, show him in. Yes, show him sir. in, President. President? Mm. Ah! Oh! Bravo! <laughs> President Maloko, congratulations. <laughs> I want you to know that it warms my heart to know that from this day on, the relationships between your people, the United States Navy, are going to be ones of friendship and goodwill. <laughs> Maloko, very happy. Oh, good, good, good. Now, if you'll just get your people back to work on that airstrip right away. Wait. We got real democracy now. Oh. You discuss with Secretary from Labor. Guys <laughs> are really doing it up right, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah. Orulu! Oh, <laughs> him president about this labor problem. Have to negotiate with me, blubber belly. <laughs> now, what about coconuts? I could just scream. 